So today we'll be making beautiful Mangalorean Sat. For this I put one cup of maida or all purpose flour. So for this I'm adding two tablespoons of salted butter. One, two and then a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. A little more than a quarter. So we'll add around a quarter teaspoon of cardamom or elachi. Now we'll mix all together and add just enough water to get a good to get a good consistent dough. Let's add a little bit of water and if you need you could add one more tablespoon of butter. A little bit more of water. Add it little by little. Okay, add just little by little water. Don't add too much of water. So you see this dough is done and it should not have cracks and this is going to be uh, the beautiful Mangalorean mini sat okay we'll do mini sat by taking small piece you know small portion okay just around 15 20 grams and then we will make it round okay that way so you see i've got around a dozen and that's how it should be no cracks make sure no cracks and small size mangalore mini sat it's a beautiful sweet and good for some great occasion okay beautiful mangalore mini sat okay so now it's time for us to make the sugar syrup okay a cup of sugar with a half a cup of water make sure it doesn't get burnt the stove top with a low medium flame half a cup of cup of water one cup of sugar half a cup of water make sure it doesn't get burnt it should be on a very low medium flame meanwhile on a small dish or a pot we heat some oil the sugar is now almost ready meantime we will fry the sat in oil okay deep fry one by one we will drop them make sure we don't burn them okay let's fry three at a time Carefully fry until golden brown a little bit more, but make sure it has to cook from the inside. That is the reason we are keeping it on a very low medium flame. You can see the sugar syrup is getting ready, but make sure it doesn't get burnt. Okay. Time now to take it and rest it on a plate. Here goes the next batch. So if you don't have butter paper, you can just put it straight away here or you can use a stainless steel, a steel plate but try to grease the plate a bit yeah, so that uh, when you when you place the sat, it should not stick to the plate. And we will immerse the sat in beautiful sugar syrup and place it here. There you go. And then a little bit sugar on top, that's it. Okay. On the other one also. There you go. So my sat is ready, but the first batch is a bit light brown. So the only way to taste this sat is to wait for it to cool down, and then we will see how tasty this is. So let me quickly check my sat. It's now cooled down. Aha, this is what we are expecting. Eh? The beautiful sat is, oh my God. Oh, this is the dual sat. Okay, there you go. Beautiful sat is ready. That's the reason I use the butter paper. Okay, oh my God. This is, this is, oh my God. Finally, we have the lovely Minglorian sat. Very traditional, very traditional and was craving to eat this and today we have it here. All good, all good. Oh my god. Traditional Mangalorean sat. I've used butter, okay, no ghee. But you can, you have to use ghee uh, for better results but I use butter and it's Working for me guys, beautiful 
Mangalorean sat ready. Cheers guys, enjoy. Eat this after a meal or when you have some guests at home, this is what you will serve. Let us now do a nice test. So we know what's happening inside this beautiful Mangalorean sat. Okay, a bit of a exercise, but let's do it and cheers, enjoy. Mm. Oh my God. Delicious, eh? Mm. Cheers, guys. So let's check the results. Voila. Pretty happy, pretty happy. Pretty happy. Cheers, guys. Enjoy.